Hey, what's up, friend? This is Arun, and welcome to my channel for inspiration. Today, I will tell you something about non-destructive way of editing. Uh, in my manipulation work, I always follow non-destructive way. A non-destructive way allow you to make changes in image without overwriting the original image. Uh, it maintains the data in your image when you edit your image non-destructively. So it is very important to follow non-destructive way of editing. Suppose you are working for a client. You make a project for them. Uh, later on, if your customer asks to change something in your project, if you did your work non-destructively, then you can change it anytime. Otherwise, it is not possible if you fix or override the data in your image. So it is very important to work non-destructively. So I will give you example. Firstly, uh, this is my manipulation. You can see there are, there are lots of lots of layers. So all these layers are because of I am doing non-destructively. There are so many examples. So you can see. I can change it anytime. I can modify it anytime. You can see the whole project is non-destructive. I have not fixed or uh, override the data on a single layer. I can change anything from this. Even I can change the cloud, even I can change the background, even I can change this model. Whatever I can do, I can change it anytime because I did this project in non-destructive way. So I will give you a few things about what are the non-destructive way of editing. So the, these are the techniques for non-destructive editing. The first one is working with the adjustment layers. You can see all these layers, like uh, if you go to this part and these are called adjustment layers. Then the second one is transforming with smart objects. I will teach you smart object. It is very, very important thing. Uh, then you can see if I right click on this layer, then you will see a smart object. It is talking about this thing. Filtering with smart filters. If you go to this filter part, then you will see a smart filter is there. This is also a known destructive way of editing. Adjusting variations, shadows, highlights with smart objects. Even you can work with the smart object, even you have the camera raw. Uh, retouching on separate layer suppose you are working uh, to remove something from your image and uh, you can use this clone stem tool or uh, these things on separate layer editing in camera raw this is my favorite tool ever uh, i thanks to photoshop team because they have put camera raw as a filter i got so many so many queries about the camera raw how to install it but it is already built in in Photoshop CC as a filter. I will, give, I will give you a special tutorial on the camera row when we complete the non-destructive way of editing. Now, opening camera row file as a smart objects, cropping non-destructively, and uh, it is talking about the masking in the last part. If I talk about the mask, then you can see a mask. So all these things are non-destructive way of editing. So dear friends, it is very important to work non-destructively. So I always do to prefer non-destructive way of editing and I will teach you each and everything of these nine parts in my upcoming tutorials. So I hope you got the idea what is non-destructive view of editing so thank you friends keep watching our inscription